Hey everybody, and welcome back. Um, I had a question on my Discord. How did I make this? <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm gonna tackle today. This is gonna be a pretty short video because this is actually fairly simple to make. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna space out your hub so that you leave mm, anywhere between, like I left less than a half, okay? Uh, the halfway point would be that line right there. So I left less than a half and I could have left less than that. I could have went with a third. Okay, meaning uh, that's not really a third, but the inside square, you know what I mean? That line is where I could have put my hub when I brought it up here, uh, because that's really all the space you need is that. Okay, now you could have even less. Um, and with the uh, H and being able to tweak your and move around your constructions. So really all you need is the end of a foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna go off this direction. Let's just pretend for a minute that this is my hub. Okay, let's just, this is the edge of my hub. This is where my hub comes to. Okay, so that's that's where I lined up my hub. Okay, which would be a much better. No, 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 no. I mean, I hubbed, I I lined my hub up, kind of here. Okay, but the hub doesn't line up perfect. So, anyways, this is how you do it. Remember, those are a hub. That's not. Okay, that's not a. That's not a group of. Uh, that's not a group of of um, uh, stacking poles. Imagine in your mind. That, that is a hub okay because i'm not going to move my hub <laughs> that's that's why so have some foundation set up in your hub bar and what you want to do is you want to build right into your hub and you want to build anywhere between um two and i'm going to go vertical on this two to three high okay uh it just depends on how many chests uh or storage you want in your system Okay. Uh, then what I want you to do is with your hub in place, now the foundations will work. It'll complain. It'll go yellow. And it'll say, you're going to clip, and you're going to do this, and you're going to do the other thing. Yeah, I am. You bet. Um, and then I normally, zoop, zoop, I normally run so that I can stand here. Okay. And commonly, uh, I will also... I will build this. Come on, come on. So once you set up your foundations, okay, and it is easy to have one here, and then even if you like, I have the, uh, I have the blade runners. So if you don't have the blade runners, you might have to put a ramp or whatever you want to put. Uh, but remember, this is going to come down anyways. So up top, I always put just the personal box. Now pretend that the doorway is right here. Let's just pretend on the hub. It's probably pretty close. So depending upon where your hub lines up. These don't, these snap too. Okay. Uh, now, I could hold the control key down where it says snap to guidelines. Okay. And it doesn't change it. So these snap to a guideline. It's just the way it goes. Uh, and I'll put four across. Okay. And then I'll start to delete the other foundations that weren't needed. And you'll notice your stuff starts to float. Okay. No problem. Grab it again. And go underneath. Okay. And delete one more level. Do, 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 do. Remember all those stackable conveyor poles. This is your hub. Okay. Just remember that. And if you put it in a certain spot and you have to go out uh, here, okay, then you go out there. It's not the end of the world if you're. You'll notice that it does line up pretty good. Uh, but you want enough space behind to be able to run the signage, okay? So your signage is going to run, but remember that the signage goes up there, okay? And it sits above, right? So it won't clip because once you put the sign up there, you're getting rid of the pole. You see how that goes, okay? 
So now we're not quite on the bottom yet. Okay. I put the sign up there now, and I'll show you why on this one. Actually, yeah, I'll show you on, on maybe I want to the one on the end. I'll show you why I put it up there while there's still one foundation up. Okay, show you why. Now, of course, my I've done this the same way forever. Okay. Uh, then I go three, and then I get rid of this one. Do, 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 do. Okay. And I get rid of all. It doesn't need none of it needs to be here anymore. So now we're down to uh, finished floor. And I'll now put in a couple. Oh, save. So I'll now put in a couple of medical boxes. Uh, I'll put in a hazard box. And, you know, maybe, maybe not put in another box uh, or a hazard box or whatever I wish. Now, from there, uh, I'll get back to my number one bar so that I can take these. Sometimes they're a little hard to place. Sometimes you got to go off to the side. All sorts of stuff. You might, if it's in the wrong spot, have to get rid of the bottom chest. In which case, let's do that now. Okay. That one goes in, that one goes in, that one goes in. These, the poles, the stackables, right? The stackable upright pole or conveyor pole, that's for looks. Doesn't need to be there. It's for looks. It just makes it look like all of these chests are sitting in the stackable conveyor poles. They do not, they have no purpose whatsoever. Let's put down two of those. Okay, so why did I put the sign up? Okay, this is why. Let's go over here. Let's go. It sits back here. Okay. I find it easier. And you notice I cannot, you notice how that works? Okay, so I have some options if I messed up. I put the sign up, I get rid of the pole, grab the sign and put one underneath it. Okay. Now, these signs stack nicely. Okay. I find they stack on top much nicer. One, two, three. There we go. And of course we have four high, so we now have four high. And that is how I do a storage system. I find it's way overkill. Yeah, uh, until about the end of the game. But because I'm right at the beginning, I commonly throw it down uh, right as I do the hub. Uh, I don't think I put it into this playthrough, which is why I'm making this video. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, somebody on, uh, somebody on Discord said, oh, how'd you do that, man? Well, this is how I did it. So uh, once you put your foundation there is no raising these like you can't um to my knowledge like you can't stack them you know what i mean like a like a these stack you know what i mean uh, the, the conveyor poles they stack it's built for that this stuff doesn't so there's no way to stack it inside here so you use foundations and that's how that works anyway short little quick one for you um yeah, keep on keeping on and the factory must grow and uh, yeah, yeah, you know, like, subscribe if uh, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, and and I, I'll do a how-to when I got something to show you. Seriously, I don't make how-tos, and I hate clickbait and all that garbage, so I don't make stuff. I mean, unless I think I can actually teach you something, or unless somebody asks a question. So please ask questions. Go right ahead. I don't mind. I got no problem with it. Um, by the way, you notice that I had that one clicked up. Okay, I goofed up and I pressed. Okay. So you just go over top it. Uh, I'm not pressing my control button right now. And control, it gets rid of it. We can go back to just having all this stuff and away it goes. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe, leave comments. You guys have a good day and we'll see you in the next one.